Good morning. Welcome to the Morning Touch. I'm Darwin Campbell. The Morning Touch is brought to you by the FSBC in Glendale for your encouragement. And we hope that you're encouraged by the time the this message is over, that you'll find encouragement to face your day. We want you to have a great day. And we want you to beat the setup artist at his game. As he tries to ruin your day, we want to give you nuggets that are going to help you just say no and help you beat that setup artist, the devil. You know, we're in the third part of our lesson dealing with Jesus' temptation and how he beat the devil at his game. You know, when I look at Matthew chapter 4, I'm extremely encouraged by it because whenever things come into my life and the setup artist tries to tempt me, this is where I go to because Jesus gives us the best example of how to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. In Matthew chapter 4, beginning with verse 11 through 14, or 10 through 14, the Bible says this, Then Jesus said to him, Go away, Satan, for it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. This is after in verse 8, the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and in splendor. And he said to them, I'll give you all these things if you just fall down and worship me. Fall down and worship me, the setup artist says. Jesus looks at him and says, go away, Satan, for it is written. Worship the Lord your God and him only shall you serve. And the Bible says when Jesus said that, the devil left him and immediately angels came and ministered to him. You see, the devil does not like you looking him in the eye and telling him what God says, telling him what the Bible says. Because one thing the devil won't do, he won't humble himself and he won't worship the Lord and he won't serve the Lord. This is one of the reasons why he ran into trouble in heaven because he did not want to worship and serve the Lord. And his goal is to try to get you and me on the same track with him. He does not want you to worship God. He does not want you to serve God. He does not want you to recognize God. Jesus puts the nail in the coffin on temptation. That when the devil looked him in the eye and threw him his best, the Lord threw him the best. And look at the result. Satan can't win against Jesus and if we learn this concept we can be victorious in temptation and we can beat the setup artist at his game not only by just saying no but by rising up and being strong in the Lord and in the power of his might now with that said let me just throw this out there why do we believe what the devil can give us anyway. He tells Jesus, oh, I can give you the world. I can give you the thrones. I can give you the power. Jesus just kind of probably said, yeah, right, man. What do you own? What can you give me that I don't already have? Satan was sadly mistaken. But we fall for that old game of the grass is greener on the other side. We fall for the foolishness of life is better over there. Only to find out when we get there, the grass is not greener and life is worse over there. Because we listen to the setup artist. We listen to the con artist. Now we're in trouble. And what do we do when we're in trouble? Some of us turn and walk away because we know we made a mistake. Others turn back to God and say, God, Get me out of this. The goal, my friends, my brothers and sisters, is not to go there in the first place. Not to listen to the set up artist. To worship the Lord thy God and serve only Him. We don't need to be believing Satan telling us lies about how good we are. He has nothing good to offer you except misery, sadness, and separation and eventually you will lose your soul Jesus is calling us to worship God in spirit and in truth and he calls us away from 
worshiping ourselves. You know, the setup artist wants you to think that self is all there is and all you need. But who do you think you are? You have no control over sickness. You have no control over death. You have no control over eternity. Who do you think you are? Most of us are just legends in our own mind. That's all we are. We think more of ourselves than we ought to think. We think hot more highly of ourselves than we ought to think. We're legends in our own mind. You need to come off of that mountain. You need to come down from that hill and see the reality that without God, you are nothing. Self is not the answer. Material things are not the answer. A lot of us think, well, I've got a nice car, nice clothes, nice home, nice job. I don't need anybody else. And God, who is that? We get that way. Walking with our noses in the air and our chest poked out like we're somebody. Without God, you are nobody. You are nothing. Life does not consist of the abundance of the things that you possess. That's what Jesus said. And that is true. Mansions on the hillside can't save you. BMWs, Mercedes, Teslas, Chevrolet trucks, Ford trucks, they can't save you. A six-figure income can't save you. A strong portfolio on Wall Street can't save you. Jesus says that one day you will die and then who will these things be? Jesus also says in Matthew 16, 26, what will it profit a man if you gain the whole world? Cars, clothes, women, parties, boats, portfolios, money. What does it profit if you gain the whole world and at age 80, 85, 90, you're dead and gone? Then who shall these things be? The most important thing for you to do is to worship God first and serve him. Jesus' wise words are good for us today. The focus must be on worshiping and serving God. All of this that we see today will pass away. All of this that we see today we cannot carry with us. We need to know and understand that this life is only temporary. Where we are now is only temporary. It will not last forever. So pay attention to what Jesus is saying today. Pay attention and stop listening to the setup artists. The most important thing we can do is understand that God wants us to understand Him. God wants us to know Him. He longs for us to hear Him. He wants us to stop, look, and listen and hear His voice. Because God wants to give you more than you've ever seen before. He wants to provide you with the fullness of life and prepare you for the fullness of eternity. God wants you to have the fullness in this life and prepare you for the fullness of eternity. Jesus said in John 10, 10, I come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. But first, we've got to tell Satan to flee. We've got to tell Satan to leave us alone. We've got to tell Satan to get behind us. And then we've got to stand firm in the word of God. Worship the Lord thy God and only him shall thy serve. Worship him in spirit and in truth. Ask for wisdom and strength to say no to the setup artist and to walk in the light of almighty God. My prayer today is that we will turn our face away from Satan and our faces away from ourselves. We'll come out of that spiritual mirror and stop patting ourselves on the back and stop thinking more highly of ourselves than we ought to think. We need to stop the idea of being legends in our own mind and focus on God, Jehovah, Yahweh, and His desire for us. Jesus said, I come that you may have life and have it more abundant." The more abundant life, the more productive life is in Christ. The life that brings happy and joy and peace is in Christ. Don't be fooled by the setup artists and continue to walk 
in darkness when you can have peace in Jesus Christ. My prayer today is that you will allow God to help you. You'll reach out to him and allow him to send the spirit into your heart and life so that you can be better and you can go to that next level. There's no need for any of us to be lost. There's no need for any of us to fall into the trap of the setup artist Satan. There's no need for any of us to go and test the waters thinking that the grass is greener on the other side. Many have tried and many have failed thinking that the grass is greener on the other side. We have the examples in this book to prove us, prove to us that sin is not worth it. It's not worth it. The Morning Touch is brought to you by the FSBC in Glendale for your encouragement. It's my hope and prayer that you will be strong in the Lord. This reminder that Jesus tells us, worship the Lord your God and him only shall you serve. That's the message for today. Be encouraged. God bless you. We'll see you next time on The Morning Touch.